<clears throat> hey dudes, T coming at ya with a blast from the past. <laughs> this is gonna be a cool video, like totally radical to the max. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're gonna wanna like see the whole thing. So stay tuned. I'm gonna be sharing with you some wreck this journal entries that are like totally from my youth and yeah i don't even need to say anything more about that they're awesome so like yeah watch this video travel back in time with me <laughs> to the magical 80s and 90s and possibly some o's check out the prompts and what i like totally did with them one of the first pages that I completed in my journal was this Declaration of Property page where it just simply says this book belongs to and then gives you prompts for writing out your name and information. Writing in white, which I did with a marker pen. Writing illegibly. Uh, writing teeny tiny. There it is, teeny tiny. I didn't feel like writing backwards so instead I printed and then very very faintly this one said to write very large, but I didn't feel like writing, so instead I printed in very large, both lowercase and capitals, and even a bubble letter. Address and phone number I didn't feel like giving away, so my address is a house on a street in a city, <laughs> and my phone number is a bunch of numbers. Because this page was very simple and boring, and just black and blue and a little bit of white, I thought I would balance out the other side with lots and lots of color. And over here, I have hung on to all the little mementos from my February cue box. I've hung on to all the, uh, the little bits and bobs that I really wanted to keep, including the plastic bag that the box was wrapped in, which I thought was really pretty with the heart pattern on it. This was the card that came with the box telling you that it was the February cue box and the theme. It had information on the back, uh, which you can't see anymore. But that's okay. This picture is what I wanted to keep. And then I've got some stickers from the little bag of stickers. There's Serena or Usagi, however you know her, making her big eyed. She must have seen someone cute. Maybe Tuxedo Mask. Transformation Locket. Again, Serena or Usagi with stars in her eyes. So maybe she saw Nina for the first time. There's a Sailor Moon with the hearts in her eyes. I love that one. The first drawing I ever did when I first fell in love with Sailor Moon was a Sailor Moon with hearts and her eyes much like this. So I had to hang on to that one. And then I also have this adorable, it was a sticker card, hard and a little bit thicker, but it sticks all by itself, of Sailor Jupiter in a slightly modified costume, which I think is adorable, a little extra frills and ruffles. So yeah, and if you'd like to see the unboxing of this in its entirety, I will link it in the description below. There were some really cute things in one there. word over and over. At first I wasn't sure what word to write, and then I thought, I'm just gonna go with it. I wrote the word that I have used more often than any other word since about high school. And if you haven't guessed by now, that word is dude. I call everybody dude. My girlfriends are dudes. My guy friends are dudes. Pets are dudes. Everybody's dude. It's an all-inclusive word of love and affection, at least when used by me. About these pages specifically, I have printed in capitals, wrote in lowercase, there's some square letters and bubble letters, really, really small and really, really big. I've used pen, markers, highlighter. It was probably a couple months before I was satisfied with this one because I kept layering, I kept finding um, an empty space. But I think at this point, it's been about two years since I've touched it. I think I can safely call it done. Blue random Dude. items here. At first glance, these are all extremely random. <laughs> um, they are kind of all tied together though. Let me walk you through some of the uh, the favorites here. Um, this, this, and this are all stickers from um, a sticker book 
from like the 90s where you get the packages of cards and stickers and you'd collect them, trade them, and ultimately try and fill your book with all the stickers. It was a Shira book and these three are my favorite um, stickers from that book. Uh, this Daisy Duck has been with me for a long time. She came from uh, the package of a toy from my childhood. Um, I don't remember what the toy was though, but I really liked the style of that drawing, so I hang, hung on to that one. And then I have some Harley Quinn, Wonder Woman, and Poison Ivy. These came from recent uh, toys that my daughter got, but I've been a comic book enthusiast from a young age, so I snagged those to put in here. Uh, this came from a congratulations card um, after my daughter was born. This is from one of those add water and paint books. That's from a Japanese candy, Zoom Zoom themed. Uh, I really liked this one because it has Daisy and Donald on it. Uh, this one, yes, it is a coconut milk wrapper, but this is Cool Runnings brand coconut milk. I had no idea that was a brand, but I am familiar with the movie, which was a frequent watch uh, when I was a kid. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it. Cool Runnings is about the uh, Jamaican bobsled team. Not necessarily historically accurate, but very entertaining. Star Wars, of course, has uh, always been a big part of my youth. Um, and then some of the other little things are like stuff that I got off cards and just random craft supplies that I found. So yeah, it's, it's pretty random. But the little collection of things that I wanted to hang on to. So I put it in the journal so I would be able to keep it for however you long I keep this yourself journal. You dislike? Deface. This one was particularly tricky because I don't tend to save photos of myself that I don't like. And especially in the age of digital photography where it's so easy to just hit that delete button right from your phone or your camera. You don't ever have to see the ugly photos. So this one I had to be a little bit more intentional and actually kind of pose for a photo that I knew I wasn't going to like, but I still think it's pretty cool. I had some stickers lying around that I threw on. There's not really much else to say about that, it's pretty straightforward. The other side of the page was going to be a blank page, so I ended up saving little bits and bobs from a cue box and a mini cue bag that I got. Uh, the cue box was obviously Pikachu themed and the mini cue bag was unicorn themed. So I saved the wrap that it was wrapped in, uh, the card that came with it with a little thank you and uh, website information and then some of the little packing things I liked this. This is cool. This is the choking hazard and do not eat symbols. I know it's showing, you know, pretty serious things, but it's just so stinking cute. Hey dudes, I see you're back. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I had so much fun making all of those pages and <laughs> resurrecting some of my childhood and uh, youthful favorite things, which I can't believe um, I still fit into <laughs> and that I've hung on to. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll like see you in the next video. Until then, like stay cool, yo.